in this video I'll show you how to install uh, Ubuntu Tweak and modify the login screen. This is Ubuntu 10.10. .10. To begin I'm going to go ahead and navigate to Ubuntu Tweak's website and that's just going to be ubuntu-tweak.com and once we're on the website we're going to go ahead and look for the download link and here it is download now and we're going to be prompted for one or two choices either the Ubuntu Software Center or saving the file. Uh, now what we're going to choose is the Software Center. This makes it nice and easy for us to install. So I'll hit OK. And you'll see it download here for a second and should open up the Software Center. And now that the Software Center is opened up, we're going to go ahead and choose Install. Now we're going to be prompted here uh, in just a second to type in the sudo password to installation for the installation. So we'll go ahead and type that in. and uh, we'll use the root password and hit authenticate and now we're going to wait for it to install and you'll see it says installing and you'll see the little progress bar come across and it may take a few moments here for it to install so we'll go ahead and let this install and once the installation has completed you'll see this reinstall button located right here so we're, gonna, we're done and we're going to go ahead and close all of our windows that we've got open now. We no longer need any of them. And the wallpaper I'm going to use here, I've already saved to my desktop, and so you can see the wallpaper there. Now let's go ahead and talk about where the wallpaper should be. If I leave the wallpaper on my desktop and link it to my desktop, uh, anytime I rename this file or delete it or move it to another location, I'm going to have to reset it up. So what I'm going to do is move it to a nice and safe uh, and secure location. So to do this, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and choose Applications, Accessories, and the Terminal. Now you can do this all in command line if you choose, however, uh, using the move command. However, I'm going to make this nice and simple with a graphical interface. And I'm just going to run the sudo command and type in Nautilus. And the password. And what this is going to do is it's going to open up our file browser for us, um, but as the root user. So we'll have all the root privileges. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to now to uh, let's see my file system. I want to look for the user folder. I want to look for the share folder. And there's a folder in here called backgrounds. There it is. And this is the default location for all of our backgrounds. And so I'm going to go ahead and just drag and drop this picture over. And now that's been moved in here. That's a safe place for it. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. I can close my terminal. Alright, so I no longer need this photo, so I'll just delete that one now. Alright, so now let's talk about the application itself. Let's go to Applications, System Tools, and here's our Ubuntu Tweak. So we're going to go ahead and turn that on now for the first time. And this warning will pop up the first time we run it. And this is just going to ask us if we want to uh, enable the package to download for security and maintenance updates. It's a good idea to have that turned on, so we'll go ahead and hit yes. And let's go ahead and make the tweak. Here it is under our login setting. So click under the startup and then the login setting. Now we'll need to unlock this screen. So I'll scroll down here and choose the unlock. And type in my password. This is for the root user. Now that I've done that, I can see here is my login screen. So I'll go ahead and select this. Just click on that screen. And we're presented, if you take a look, the default location is the user share folder then the backgrounds uh, directory. And this is where I actually moved my picture. And there it is, the login wallpaper that I named it. And I'll just go ahead and hit open. And you can see that this is the picture we're going to use for my login background. I'll go ahead and hit quit now. And now that I've quit it, it's time to test it. So let's go ahead and choose log out. and log out. And I'm now at my log out screen, or log in screen, and I can see that the background image has now changed. This concludes the video.